Our weed of the week is giant ragweed, and you know one of the things I enjoy each week, well, sometimes, is Darren always <laughs> seems to have a story about the weed. What is it this week, Darren? Well, okay, giant ragweed is, is one that I do have a story about, but you know, Brian gives me a hard time. I'm always out digging around in fields, or I'm down on my hands and knees looking at bugs or, or weeds, even in the cotyledon stage. I really enjoy that. I'm, I guess I'm crazy. All right, get way. to it. Well, okay, giant <laughs> ragweed. I was, I was over in Iowa. This is probably two or three years ago now. And I was at one of their university trials, and they did a fantastic job setting up some weed control trials. And I was listening to one of the guys from Iowa State, and he said, you know what? He said, we got this plot here, and all we've put out here is lasso so far for weed control. One of the farmers right away, lasso? I haven't used that for 20 years. It, why are you using lasso out there? And, and the, the guy said, well, the reason we use lasso is it seems to be fertilizer for giant ragweed. We've got giant <laughs> ragweed problems like there's no tomorrow. The lasso had no impact on it. So I'll tell you right now, for weed control, please do not use lasso to try and control giant ragweed. Uh, however, there are quite a few things that you can use to get giant ragweed under control, but lasso isn't one of them and neither is Roundup. Giant ragweed is starting to become Roundup resistant in some areas. So just be careful if you're thinking Roundup is totally gonna do the trick on giant ragweed, you may need a tank mix partner or to be on the safe side, you may wanna put a pre or herbicide down that's going to stop giant ragweed. Problem is there aren't a lot of good pre's out there. You can get some activity out of Sencor in soybeans or out of Balance Flex in corn if Balance is labeled in your state. Other than that, you just don't have a whole lot of choices pre-emerge you have to go with something post. Well, post-emerge in soybeans, it gets kind of ugly because you end up having to use one of those hot burning type products well, not necessarily. to try and get it under control. Yeah, first rate is pretty good. But otherwise, yeah, like Darren's saying, Flexstar, Cobra, Ultra Blazer, something like that. Well, in it's, corn. it's a whole different change, though. If you've got Roundup Ready beans, all of a sudden you've got to be out there when those weeds are like two or three, maybe yes. four inches yes. tall, instead of saying, oh, you know what? I planted, I'm done with that, now I'm going to go fishing for a couple weeks. Uh-uh, <laughs> not if you get giant ragweed. Okay, moving on to corn, you've got to go with something like Status, Distinct, uh, even Callisto and Laudus are not too bad on giant ragweed. Just get after it again when it's small and you shouldn't have too much problem on your farm. Well, that's it for this week's Weed of the Week, but there's more Ag PhD to come after this.